as we commemorate the World Environment Day, private sectors, national government, and various artists joined forces for the display exhibit held in Luneta Park. This aims to promote the preservation of the nature against climate change. Here's the details. Made from durable wood that symbolizes Mother Nature. That's the story behind the sculpture made by father and son artists from San Mateo Rizal. For Adi and Ino Pagkatipunan, through artworks, they used to express and share their appreciation for nature. So ay sumisimbolo kung gaano kahalaga o gaano ka-importante sa atin yung World Environment uh, Day. Pinapakita namin doon kung gaano kahalaga ang pagtutulong-tulungan ng iba't ibang tao sa pagpapahalaga ng kalikasan. Kinulayan namin ayon sa hinihingi na tema para sa World Environment Day. Due to the changing weather conditions, the former color brown of this artwork seems to have life, like nature, which is also affected by the climate change. Yung sculpture itself ay reflection siya kung anong nangyayari sa environment dahil exposed tayo sa iba't ibang weathering elements. Part ng exhibit ay nakikita natin yung changes sa sculpture dahil sa epekto ng ng weather natin. Various personalities from UNESCO or United Nations Education, Scientific and Cultural Organization also became part of this program. This includes the chairman of UNESCO, Cecil Guidote Alvarez, who also shared the traditional way of appreciating and praising the nature of indigenous peoples. <laughs> For UNESCO Artists for Peace and Music artist Sander Pratt, it is important for every Filipinos to learn to appreciate and care for our nature, which is the origin of all sources of human. How I can reflect it in my music is to use my music as a platform, because music is a, is a doorway, music is a space that allows people inside. Sander Pratt will also be releasing a lot of music videos that features beautiful places in the Philippines. So the environment is really based on, for me, on femininity, on the nurture of nature. And nature to me is what has made all these plants, you know, uh, the feminine energy has made the flowers, the sea. So the World Environmental Day means something to me because my mother means everything to me. The ambassador of ecotourism, Mafi Papin Carion, also attended the event where she highlighted their advocacy, which promotes the intensified preservation campaign of the nature. This includes both the cooperation of the government and the private sector for the purpose of mitigating the effects of the climate change. Po kayo makakalimot uh, during World Environment Day, let's put focus to this, our natural resources. However, let's concentrate on what's natural to us and palaguin natin what we have dito sa Pilipinas because we have an abundance of resources. Why don't we use it? Several environmental advocates and private sectors comes part of the five-day art display exhibit commemorating World Environment Day. This art display was successful with the cooperation of UNESCO International Theater Institute Philippines, National Parks Development Committee, National Library of the Philippines, Department of Education, Civil Military Operations Regiment, and other private sectors. The display of the artwork began from June 20 and will last until June 24. The proceeds of this event will be given to library gallery hit by disaster in Shargao Island. Alvin Palabello for Euro TV News.